Hello and welcome back to my playthrough of Kerbal Space Program with the uh, Interstellar Quest. It's episode 9 and we are, um, in this episode we're going to try and land on Drez rather than crash into it. So this is the, um, the Drez lander and I'm going to try and be a little bit more careful with regards to um, my orbit manoeuvres. So here you can see I've got set up a manoeuvre node, so I'm going to try and reduce the periapsis from 2 million kilometres to 15 kilometres, um, and then I'll do my circularization at the periapsis, and hopefully I'll just circularize rather than um, reduce the reduce the periapsis too low. So I'm just going to fast forward to the manoeuvre node, not too far away so it should be quite quick. I've set up an alarm before this so it should pop up in a second. There we go. I'm here, I'll just deploy this array, solar array. So with this probe also, I should be able to get some um, low above Dres data which one wasn't able to to get with the previous probe I'm going to take this nice and easy, I don't want to go too fast and throttle up too much so that I overshoot and end up lowering the periapsis too low. I'm just going to wait a bit in for So there we've got the periapsis, 330-300 kilometers. Hundred. Seventy, sixty, fifty. Bring it down to about twenty-five. That should be good enough. Okay, twenty. That's fine. So, close that maneuver node, and I'll add a new one in at the periapsis for circularization. I should do it. I don't want to go too low. I don't want to um, have any have any issues. So two, nearly two kilometres a second. Delta V required. There. I'll add a, an alarm just to make sure I don't overshoot. Let's point in the right direction and get ready. So we've got a 49 second burn to make and we're 20, me 20 minutes away from our manoeuvre node. Just make sure I've got enough delta V. Yep, okay, we should be fine. I 
should have enough to at least circularize and then one kilometer a second to um, to land on the surface, which I hope is enough. I didn't check on the uh, wiki, so we'll see. <laughs> So we're pointing in the right direction. I'm going to wait till about 24 seconds before the node to try and keep the burn 50% before and 50% after the actual uh, the actual node itself. Here we go. So throttle full up to maximum. While we're here, I can, should be able to collect some, some data. Okay, we're near address, so uh, we've got 84 signs there from the magne magnetometer. We lost that last stage, so we've just got the um, Descent stage now. At least it's going to take another minute because it's such smaller. So I should have started earlier on that maneuver node. Let's see what else we can get there. 35 science. Brilliant. Welcome to dress. Goofy was right at home, another 21 science. Transmit that back, because I've got two of those. And I can do one of these science juniors. Two science, okay, so I'll keep that for the time being just see. Log the gravity data, okay, that's good. 56 science. Works with the atmosphere. Try and log the plasma waves, okay. I'm going to deploy the system. Some motor, there we go. So we're looking good on the maneuver node. I'm going to keep pointing towards the um, retrograde point rather than the maneuver node itself. There we go, you can see the epilapse is coming down 200. 150. Okay, my periapsis is too low now. I'll raise that at the apoapsis. There we go. And 
I did see, I did bring along then multispectral scan. You can actually get some scan data then, so I could leak this and uh, actually map the um, surface before I land on it. Be better to be in a polar orbit though. And um, how much delta V do I have? So we've got um, 11 degree inclination, so we'll only get the pretty much the tropics of the. Because we've got a reasonable amount of delta V left available on board the uh, craft, what we do is increase the inclination slightly and um, try and get a little bit more coverage so that we can map a bit more of the surface that we failed to do with the, with the previous probe. Just using the cheat of uh, fast forwarding to to stop the rotation on the um, on the spacecraft. There we go. That's good enough. We'll just wait for the burn now. So after increasing the inclination, I spent a bit of time trying to optimise the configuration of the experiments to try and get enough power to the ScanSat unit, but uh, I was unable to. I don't think the power, the solar arrays are providing enough power to be able to, to map the surface. So I'm um, going to give up trying to do a map and just go for a straight landing and get this uh, surface. So as you can see from the ScanSat map, we're not really getting much data from the um, multispectral scan. Um, so I'm going to give up on trying to get data there and we'll just go for a landing. Set up a manoeuvre node with a nice no, low periapsis. There we go, 38 metres, that's perfect. Um, and we'll just accelerate towards that. So we've got a really short burn, a three second burn, it's only 45 metres per second. Let's go. Perfect. Just going to quick save.
Okay, so I'm going to throttle up and try and reduce as much uh, of our surface speed as possible. And we're close to about six kilometres. See how that goes. So we're six kilometres above sea level, about five kilometres actually above the ground itself. 200 meters per second. So it looks like we're going to be landing just the other side of this hill. we're in quite close to the ground so I'm going to try and kill as much horizontal velocity as possible and slow our vertical descent as well Our vertical speed's okay, minus 16 meters per second. There we go. So we're pretty much dropping straight down. Seven hundred meters to go. Let's see if we can see a shadow anywhere. Four hundred meters to go. So I'm just trying to watch the vertical speed and make sure we're we're not going to drift to the side. I think we're going to be ended up landing on a slope. There's a shadow there. So we were landing in the valley. I'll watch that shadow so we can see get a good visual indication of how high we are up. 200 meters. Slightly too fast. Just slows down slowly. The landing legs can take an impact, I think, of about 10 meters per second. Problem is, you might bounce, I suppose, and damage some of the equipment try and land as close to zero as possible. 80 meters to go. 70. Okay. 20 meters. 13, 12. Eight, seven, five, four, three. Okay. So we got, looks like we're down. We are leaning on a solar panel though. We can't do the mag magnetosphere, so I'll deactivate that and get that out of the way. Try the other one. Okay, 40 science magnetometer scan from Dres's surface. Let's get what science we can. Okay, so I'm just going to collect all that data and transmit it back to the, the Space Center. 
Um, thanks for watching this episode. In the next episode, we should be looking at preparing for a manned mission to Duna. So it should be some, hopefully, some interesting stuff going on.